I wear my sunglasses at night so I can, so I can. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We're not wearing the sunglasses, but we do need to put on sunscreen. Unless we plan on having the Fiend getting some sunburn, I think that should be the last man's concern. If the guy got burnt to torches, what the heck are you going to do? What is sunscreen going to do for you, my friend? I'll tell you one thing we're going to do. Custom Coltez helping me out right here with Alexa Bliss. And then we got a whole pile of customs that we got to work through here. It's going to be a video right here. That you guys don't remember for the decades. And if you don't remember, I'll make sure to remind you on the regular. I'll be posting on Instagram. Go follow me, man. Go check it out over there. Because this man, he has brought something right here in the past. And if you guys saw that cane. Correction. AJ Lee dressed as Kane. Then you might be familiar as to how great this man's work. And we got two of them. We don't just have one version. But we got alternate options. Just like Bray Wyatt, right? You got the Firefly Funhouse. But then at the same time, you got the true darkness of what the man is. And then when we do unroll this, you're going to see what we're going to get into and yes it is i know you guys were requesting and guess what it happened we make it happen the fiend shelf oh my friends what is this going to do to it my perspective as far as what we've seen i think it's going to do a lot i mean this is the rebirth not just for alexa bliss but also the fiend himself yes he got burnt alive we get that we saw that at tlc but don't think for a last second that that's the end of it alexa told us on monday night raw the man he's already at home right now but if he does plan on coming back he's going to be right here waiting for Alexa and this is so nice to wrap up and all the details like all the little stuff kind of like how we saw with the Fiend gloves you're going to see that all captured right here within fabric that's one thing that custom cold Tez loves to do he utilizes fabric he touches it up he puts his dab all the paint work is always so damn clean man this is the love and work that I enjoy about getting all of your customs dude it's never a letdown we're always getting right here just the way that Mattel will release it and you know we're going to see it with Mattel but I don't think that the detail and the level of like degree that we saw with this right here it's not going to be portrayed the way that you're seeing it kind of like the flowers they're all scattered these are all professionally hand painted even the design up chest right here that's all hand painted from scratch no decals the man falls right there in the category of no decal work and it just carries real well now the gloves right here yes you're gonna have the play i know the font it's really small but it's all very much there for the right side as well as the left except on the left instead of play what's the opposite of play well paint i mean that's usually what happens right you go to the park you start playing you get out of control you're having a blast but then you fall man you hurt your knee and you got to write it all out this is so cool i'm really glad you captured this this as well as the context because that was one question he had asked me he's like would you like to see the context in alexa bliss oh of course my friend dude if you're gonna bring it like this and not just this one but check it out as we told you we don't just have one version but we got the darkness alexa bliss yes she's got her freaking fiend built in already equipped she's locked and loaded and is it going to bring the same way no it's actually going to carry quite different with the whole hair piece this was all freaking sculpted right there from scratch we're getting the pink all wrapping around in the darkness dude it is still continuing dude this is so freaking clean dude what did you do what is the design what's the process let me ask you this cold test if you're watching how did you manage to do all these ruffles the way that it's all executed look at this this is like professionally like as if you were going to the store buying yourself a brand new dress but no instead this is all in figgy scale oh my gosh even the tights no these are not painted these are actually tights right underneath there the boots that's awesome dude i like how you did both of the shoes like right here for the regular version how you got the white all captured correctly like these are right there on point which one do i like better i'm kind of leaning more towards this one like yeah the fiend like that's actually the benefit of bray Wyatt when it comes to like his darker side but i think like the brighter side for alexa it's night and day for me and one thing that i definitely want to carry you guys this is going to be devoted just the whole family growth and i think it was as cal figs bro if you're watching let me know because this was awesome this is a brilliant idea right so we got alexa we got the fiend let's throw the fiend in there we'll talk about him in just a sec because we got some stuff going on for him as well but we need the son we need a child and this this is pretty neat because i do have an extra figure right here laying around with the old customs that i did do so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to capture the head scan from here bring it over there and just wait till you see it i know it sounds crazy but it's all going to be like a miniature version of what bray wyatt is moving those to the side the undertaker is going to be equipped the way that he should have been released about two years back because look this whole five head that we got with the most recent taker this isn't something that has happened within the last year this has actually been occurrence i would say going on for a good clear five years so when they kept releasing this and kept giving us that same scan back from 08 well guess what we're going to address that and we're going to do some notches because i got some other ideas that i want to 
also implement within this. And we got Chad Gable bringing back the red, white, and blue. Now the shorts, yeah, that was the gear. That's what he was rocking. And maybe this is a reason partially why I never went ahead and carried on with the rest of the design. I felt like this was short-lived. This was being pushed in an awkward situation. Now he's coming back right here. So we got to do it up right there with the figgy. And Trey, huge shout out to you, my bro, because I don't think there was a single person in this world that agreed with the torso that was equipped with the rock. Yeah, this is the way it should have been. Like, this is the best prime rock that we've seen, at least, like, you know, in the figgy history of it. So it's got to be brought over here with the whole current look. Now, the Hulkster, that Hulkamaniac, we did it with the NWO, but we haven't done it with red and yellow or the later days. So we got a couple of them that are going to get the treatment. Yes, the old custom already had a similar vo version, but it doesn't have what we got going on with the brand new Ultimate Edition. The other thing, too, and this is going to be a huge shout out right here. ABC Customs, my bro, he did this torso swap. It looked really good. A younger version of Morrison was being brought over here. So I think it's going to do a lot for it. I definitely plan on doing that. We're going to crack that open, crack this open, mix them all together, and then bring the fight to DX, right? You guys got the fight here, face. I always got the fight. If I got the gloves, we're ready to throw down. Don't step into the ring with Iron Mike Tyson. Who would win? If it was Mr. T, let's go ahead and say this was a real fight. Would it be Mr. T or Iron Mike Tyson? And I'm talking about prime time. I'm not talking about like what the heck these guys have been doing. So I want to use the scan right here for my DX and see how that in-ring gear will look like. And not WWE in-ring gear, but actual boxing ring gear. So a little fantasy. And I got a brand new section that I want to discuss. I actually introduced this in the last customs video, but this is going to be, we're going to, let's go ahead and call it accessory corner. I always find little extras, not necessarily with like WWE figures, but like Marvel legends i know some people were asking like where'd you get those flames i really like what you did well if you guys uh, i think it was a build a figure it was the hobgoblin build a figure with marvel legends he came with a total of three pieces if you want to reenact without burning your actual figgy this is a great way to do so and it's cool because it actually came with three and all it came once for the arms so you can capture that and one that actually clinches on right there on the back how it kind of has that you go ahead and put it on the shoulders and have that barbecue cookout that alexa was talking put that one to the side and we're going to discuss right here with mr morrison i I wanted to try it. Look, I know Edge is going to be released. Well, actually, the first series was supposed to be put out late December, but because of Rona, I think it's going to be January for the time being. Actually, you know what? Even that one is not equipped with the actual entrance jacket. I think that one will actually just come with the shirt, but I wanted a placeholder into the Ultimate Edition because that will be the only Edge that will actually see. Well, I hope it's fabric. If it's not fabric, make it similar to what we saw with The Fiend. But yeah, you could use the same jacket that we saw with Morrison. I think that works pretty good, you guys. Again, this is in Marvel Legends, but I still wanted to bring it to your attention. And if you guys ever ended up making like your own version of the Hollywood, like the Velveteen Dream that he wore at NXT TakeOver, this is actually the boa that we got with the Ultimate Edition for the Hulk Hogan. This one sits on there pretty flush. I think it really wraps it up. You know what, Hero Fix? Stop talking about the side stuff. They want to see the customs. They want to get it working. Let's put these ladies to the side because, man, they are looking so damn fire. I genuinely can't wait to show you the rest of the ideas behind it. So let's put those to the side. Let's get the working and get it going. We got them all done up. Now I'm going to be straight up with you. There were some fails. We ain't going to talk about those now. Let's talk about what succeeded going forward with the torso swap. Morrison is benefiting in more than one way. One, obviously with the classic look. And two, with the current look. And look, I love this torso. It's not that I didn't. But only thing was is that this head scan that was originally on the torso with the current look... It just was sitting super low, and I think this is really turning it up. So I think the old gear, yeah, I think this is, uh, a lot of people were talking about this being like a Fandango style, but I'm still thinking that it is slightly something different from what we did see, even within the Ricochet itself. But yes, even this one, check this out. So the head scan sitting more appropriately on this one with the older style of version, because this was the very first, like if you go back to the earlier John Morrison figures, this was the look that they were giving him, and it still works. I mean, he still has the big arms. You're really not losing much in the head scan. It's sitting just the right way that it should now for the fiend you guys might laugh at this one as cal figs i was dying man <laughs> the first time i saw it i'm like 
dude, that actually works. So obviously take off the little sash that it came with, put on the fiend skin. You could paint the pants black. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Or one thing I might do, because this is what I was thinking, right? As you guys mentioned, or as you guys heard Alexa on Monday Night Raw, she said that the rebirth, it's coming. Now, if you guys go back to like earlier Freddy Krueger movies, we're not going to get all into it, but just know that when he was revamped and redone, he didn't come back in full scale form. He came in child form, kind of like Baby Yoda, except they got Baby Fiend. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> Let me know how you guys feel about that. Again, I love it. It just ties in well. It kind of gives it that Firefly Funhouse look. Undertaker, let's talk about the Dead Man because, look, there was shame in the game, and I think that's why the Dead Man didn't want to do a reprint when they started releasing this Undertaker here in later 2018. So what they did is like, whoa, Hero Fix, hold on. We can bring a little American style, right? American badass, the way he did it. So if you want to put the bandana and mask that look, Gizmo305, shout out to you, my brother. And then right here, the last one, before we get into the fails, because like I said, there were fails, but I think right here, this is nothing but success. And I really do hope that actually does derive from the whole change right here with him along Otis. So let's go, go ahead and talk about the fails. Now, The Rock, yes, it was attempted. It was tried. I actually got down to the nitty gritty, but I found out, because this Rock figure that I had prior, this one I had purchased loose. So the fact that the seller didn't mention this, I think there was something going on, you guys. Now, if you look at the bottom of this, the previous guy that actually owned this, he adhered this with glue. Mattel usually doesn't do that. They did it in the earlier days, but they didn't do it during this time and era. So when I was going with the torso crack, part of it started ripping off. So yeah, it's an unfortunate fail, but Hawkster, you gonna fix it? Nah, Hero Fix, not even my bandana can save me from how high this damn scan is sitting. <laughs> Look at this. This is a freaking joke. All right, we ain't talking about that. There is success for the other one, at least, because the one that was right there on the main actual Ultimate Edition figure, it's tying real well right there with the Hulkamaniacs. Let's go ahead and cover it, man. We got custom cold test. We got Baby Fiend. We have an updated version right there of Mr. Gable. Hulkster, you might have failed me once, but you ain't failing me twice. Dead man right here with the look. Again, you guys, come join this fan. This is what we're doing. What are you doing, Tyson? Oh, let's talk about Tyson. Here's the last thing I want to discuss you guys when I was heating this up part of the plastic started cracking this head scan I bought about six years back this is a casted head and if anybody has worked with anything casted you know that once the head scan goes on there it ain't coming back off but you know what I'm gonna go and hit up I know uh, a good brother has been working on something with the Mike Tyson look so I'm gonna go ahead and hit him up with one of those scans but again come join this family regardless of the fails we got a lot of epic stuff still going on again the Christmas celebrations they're only gonna continue and this was much needed for that action figure setup I want to thank you guys for watching Be be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Come on, baby. Let me go ahead and carry you home.